Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another um, small project share. A couple more um, dies that I have made some items with from the Scrap Diva Designs November release. So let me jump right in and share with you what I've um, made with these last couple dies. So first off, the one I'm sharing with you is the Picture Frame Memdex. And it comes with, um, I'm having to put them in these bags now because all the like the tape that the dies are stuck to when you get them are sticking to the packaging which I had been just saving them in there but it's like ripping the bags and everything so anyway some of them are in their bags still some of them I've had to make new ones but anyway um, it comes with all these pieces so here's your um, part so you can make a memdex and then here is your frame layering piece now you can make a memdex or not Okay, so there's those two. <clears throat> now these you can use to cut out um, and layer up here, because see this one right here, this line right here isn't gonna cut. So if you wanna like put something on top of the frame like that, this would be the one. Okay, you can put these two together and you know, just like washi tape them together and cut them out and this will give you a frame, this small little frame to go around the edge. Okay, um, these two, this will give you some layers, like if you want to, to make a scene. So of course now, at this time of year, you're thinking, you know, like snow. So that's really cute, but don't just think snow, think grass, um, sand, you know, so whatever season, it doesn't really matter. It can be used all year round. And you can make plenty without it, just the frame, you know, and do whatever you want and not even have any of the, you know, the landscaping things in there. Okay, it also comes with this word, which is let it snow, and then it has the um, a shadow piece with it, okay, and then you get the little house, and then this is the um, little layering piece for around it, like if you want to add snow. And then this is the layering piece. Like if you wanna like put snow around the door frame and then you get this cute little tree. So that's what comes with the set. <clears throat> Let me put them in here all the way so I don't lose, lose them. Okay, so this one, I made a Mamdex and it's kind of plain, but um, um, th that's what I made. <laughs> Um, the collection that I'm using to make all these projects you're going to see today is from Simple Stories and it is called Winter Wonder. I love this collection. It's real similar to Feel and Frosty except for it has a little bit more blues. Still has some of the aquas but also blues too and um, it's really pretty. So uh, I'm using that. So here we go. So here, this is what I made the Memdex. So I made the Memdex out of 110 pound cardstock. And then I layered up my frame here with the blue, okay? And then I cut out the um, the pink piece because I wanted a plain background, okay? And then I have, um, I actually have three layers of um, the snow. And what you can, because what you can do is you can, you can play with them and move them around. Um, let me kind of show you with the die set. The dies. Shouldn't have bothered putting it away, huh? Okay, so um, so you get some of your your things here. So you can make your hills and stuff how you want them, whichever one you decide to put in the back or front, and then you like offset them so they're not just like you know in a line. You know, you don't want them just like that, probably you know, because that will be just like the same, um, you know, line on the top. So if you kind of mix them up, see how that gives you a little bit different line. And then also what you can do is like layer, so you get different lines. So I have three lines here. I don't know if you can tell. You got this front one that I went all the way across with. This side one, this one, second one right here, I moved to the edge and cut off a piece and moved it to the edge and then I just put it down, glued it down to where it would, you know, disappear into here. And then there's another piece back here from the other end that I cut off. 
Okay, so I have a bunch of different rolling hill type things back there. So you should be able to see three different pieces there. Now you can also pop up, pop up on foam. I didn't on this one, but you can um, pop up on foam these layers. And you know, I tucked like my tree down behind here. You can do that. I just like uh, tacked mine down on these edges and the bottom, so I can stick stuff down inside these um, the landscaping parts. So I could stick critters down there, or more trees, or you know, whatever. So. Um, everything isn't just like laying on top. So that's why I stuck that tree down in between the couple layers. Okay. And the rest of this is just ephemera and chipboard and foam stickers and words and everything from the collection. And then I just put three little um, sequins there and a little bow. And this is uh, like a resin piece from Hobby Lobby. So I think it turned out pretty. So I made that. And then the next one, I didn't make a Memdex. I just made a frame and I turned it the other direction. So I just have my um, frame piece back here. I use this blue piece back here. I cut out with this piece. Okay, so that's the blue. And then I, like I told you, I put these two together taped them and ran them through and that gave me this cute little pink sorry it's having a hard time um this this cute little pink um border there which i trimmed it then i took i have it up on foam and then i took some of this pretty braided trim i went around all the edges so you wouldn't see the foam and then um here's just a piece of the um you know to make some snow out of then i use my snowman paper back there and then again chipboard and stuff for the collection to um, decorate it with and you know resin pieces and flat backs and stuff I think it turned out really cute so I just don't think of this as just a memdex and think of it for any time any season any collection you know Maggie Holmes just make a pretty little frame set I mean how how beautiful is that okay so that was the second thing I made with that I'm just gonna push this stuff over here to the side into a pile put it back in a minute hopefully I don't lose anything <laughs> next one I played with was this one called gingerbread postage stamp and so you get two different sizes okay so you get big and small so here's the big ones and here's the smaller ones so you get a plate that has two and of each size and you get a plate that just has one stamp of each size so you can arrange them how you want to on your what you're cutting out or that kind of stuff okay so I just did a couple like little embellishments out of mine and um, so here's my stamp I put some pretty um, I have this pad of vellum that I have it's um, like pinks Shades of Christmas, so pinks and greens, a little bit on the red. Um, so I put a little piece of that behind each of the um, gingerbreads so it would kind of show those that color through the dots of the gingerbread. And then um, I used just some dyes in my stash, um, these scalloped edge dyes, and I did ones that were, you know, um, layering, not layering, but, um, <laughs> you know, if it has multiples of the same multiples of the same shape I can't think of the name okay so I just did a couple of those layered up and then I put the like I say I put the stamp part up on foam and I put a piece of vellum behind there I have some trim down here <clears throat> on this one and on the side here and then this tiny little um, um, flower that I used came from the gingerbread girl set so I use, from the small set, I use that, that little flower. I just layered up two pieces and just put a thing in the center. So that's, that's what the, where the flower's from. And I just put a little acrylic bow on top of the head. So I'll just probably add these to a project. Okay, so there's those two. <clears throat> and then thirdly, I used, <coughs> excuse me, this set here, which is called the Candy Cane Gift Box. So you get all these pieces. These are all the um, box 
making part. And you get, um, there's like four different pieces here to layer. So you got those two, because you can see you got a scallop layer, you got a stripe layer, you have like a, you know, like an open stitch type layer, and then the solid layer, and you get that for both directions. So one face is left, one face is right, okay? And then this is the um, other part for it, um, to, for making the box. Okay, so here's the other, one facing the other direction. Okay. Now, I didn't make a box with mine yet. <clears throat> I just used the candy canes, and oh my gosh, how beautiful these are. So I used pretty much a different color. I used all four layers. I used a different color on each layer. So you have your pink layer here is the scallop. Here's the like the open stitch one that looks really pretty. Okay, there's a um, and this one I actually forgot to use the base layer. I had it cut out and then I glued my I made a shaker. So I forgot to glue it down behind there. I just glued it on that second layer. But anyway, here's the stripe layer. So I cut a stripe layer and then I cut the stripe layer out of foam also. And then I cut the solid piece um, out of acetate. So this is a shaker. Um, I didn't stack it up very high. So that's why in there is just those micro beads that I love to use and make sure that you get a shaker without having to, um, you know, make it real tall. So that's what I used in here. And then this bow is uh, part of the bow from the gingerbread um, bow set. Where's that at? Right here. You get two sizes. It's called gingerbread bow set. Okay, so that's the um, bow that I used here. I only used one set of the little loops, and it's the smallest one that I used here. I didn't put any tails or anything um, on this project. Okay. Um, just some twigs here that I had in my stash. This flower is Scrap Diva's um, poinsettia from last year. So that's what I used on here to make this. This is two layers of the, I think the couple of the smallest ones. So I think I just put an enamel dot in the center. This is a, a, a wood snowflake and then this little cabochon that I've had in my stash for a while. I think it turned out really pretty. So there's that one. And then for this one, what I did is stitched it um, on these solid pieces of the striped piece. Um, let me show you what I used. So these are the micro beads that I use for my project. I got these years and years and years ago. You may have seen a video in the past sometime there I showed you. This is from 2005. <laughs> Anyway, it was a set that came with all these different colors of micro beads. I think there might have been one more color, but I might have used it up already. It was probably gold. Um, but yeah. And you can see the difference in these two. Um, like this one, this that I have from Hobby Lobby, this is, um, it says it's seed beads. Let's see, will it focus? Okay. So there's seed beads. Now look at that compared to these. See, these are just tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces. Okay. So that's what's in the that's what's in that uh, shaker. Okay. So then for this one, back to the stitching. So what I did was I took my um, striped piece and I took my um, foam, just a little foam thing that I have that came with as part of a piercing set. It has, came with a little needle to pierce holes. Okay, but what I did was, um, I have this from We Are Memory Peepers. It's a sew stitch or something like that. Anyway, it has these, sorry, I keep getting it out of focus. So it has these little, um, little pointy things, you can see it there. And this thing rolls, okay. So what I did was, um, took my paper and I laid it out and this is just a scrap piece of paper but all you do when to use this is you just push it down and see it makes holes now this one's I hope Rosalind was playing with this I hope she didn't ruin it um, 
and you just kind of go through and see how it made those little holes. This is um, some heavy cardstock, so it's, why am I not focusing very well? So you can see those little holes, okay? Um, I wanted to make them a little bit more, but at least it gives you the, um, you know, you're in a straight line, you're evenly spaced, okay? And then I took my Pokey Tool, Tim Holtz. I was using a regular, I was just trying to use this at first because I had it laying out and I'm always poking things with this. Of course, I have lots of other Pokey Tools, but that one didn't work as well. So then I just had this out and I just went through and just kind of just reinforced these holes like that, poking it into the foam so that it made it real easy to stitch it, okay? And so then I just stitched through with some floss and oh, I think it turned out so pretty. So this is super handy. I, um, these came out years and years and years ago. I had a whole set that had all different like designs of stitching, you know, cross, cross like X's and flowers and all kinds of stuff. And I got rid of it. <laughs> and then when um, just lately I've been wanting to do more of the stitching. And so I thought, I got another one of these and I just got the plain one so it just gives you the holes okay but it worked so well for this and, and it, like I say it keeps the holes evenly spaced and um, you know you can get more of a straight line and stuff like that so anyway that's how I did that again with the the same decorations the same poinsettia the same bow these little sprig things I had in my stash but I think it turned out beautiful so these haven't even been made into a box. And I'm not sure if I'm going to on these ones or not. But so beautiful. And I've seen so many beautiful, beautiful, beautiful candy cane boxes. So I can easily just put this on top of mine when I get one made if I decide to do that. So anyway, that's it for today. And I just thought I'd share that tip with you on how, to, how I did that stitching on there. And thank you guys so much for watching. And please um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you stay around. And um, I will link Erica's shop, which here is the link to the shop. Okay. And then all of her info back here. Okay. I will list my discount code. I have a discount code that I'll list in the um, description box down there. Um, and then also, um, I'll link my dies, the dies that I've used and with my um, affiliate link. So if you click on that, it'll share some of the profit with me. It doesn't cost you guys anymore. It just makes, and it makes it real easy to go find them. So um, I will do that with all the dies that I've used in this. Okay. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.